process of kind of talking to everyone. As you can see, there's a lot of people out here on the street. A lot of people saw little tiny bits of things. We're trying to talk to all them and put all those little things together so we can kind of get a better understanding of what How many people are we talking when you say two groups? We're talking like five or six people in each group or a couple right. people? Um, it appears that the first group uh, was uh, several individuals who confronted several other individuals. The second incident at this time, all we know is that there were shots were fired from a vehicle and a single individual. We don't know how many people were in that vehicle. The folks that I talked to said like four or five shots and then another four or five shots. Is that um, similar to what you've heard? That, yeah, that would be, uh, yeah, we haven't had, we haven't heard anything that would conflict with that, with what you told me about multiple shots being fired, then another volley of multiple shots being fired. And I also heard it was like juveniles. Is that also true that it's people underage? Yeah, you know, at this point it's hard hard to tell what it is. We're still putting everything together. Um, like I said, a lot of people saw little tiny bits and pieces. So um, we, really, we really can't comment on uh, the age of the individual at this time because we have so much information coming in right now and it's really, really an investigation. It seems like some people had been detained or arrested. Is anyone under arrest at this point or in custody? At, at this point, we have a number of individuals that we're talking to uh, and we're trying to find out if they have any involvement in the incident. Is this gang related or what? why do you think this is happening? Well, I mean, at, at, at this time, there's nothing that would indicate that there's any kind of gang, uh, that this is gang related in any way. But with that said, anytime we have an incident like this where we have groups of individuals who are involved in some kind of altercation, we obviously call in our gang detectives so that they can use their expertise and we can make sure that we at least rule out the fact that it is not gang.